Well, good afternoon, church family. Happy Monday. It's good to see you here this afternoon. Let's go ahead and pray together and ask God to bless our time today as we gather around His Word. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the day You've given. We thank You for the start of the week. We thank You for the snow outside. Uh, Lord, it reminds us that though our sins were as red as crimson, they've been washed white as snow. And uh, Lord, we just praise you for your faithfulness to us today, God, and our prayer now is for your blessing upon this time of devotion. And Lord, that you take these few moments that we have today and uh, help us uh, set in order the course of this week for your glory and honor, we pray. And Lord, we ask that you would send revival, that you do mighty works in our hearts and lives and through our families and through this local church, we pray it in Jesus' name, amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad that you're here, and I want to invite you to open your Bibles with me to Psalm number 96, Psalm number 96, and we welcome you, uh, those joining us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel. As always, it's an honor that you're here, and I pray that the time will be a blessing to you. But notice what the Bible says, beginning in, in verse number one of Psalm number 96, it says, O sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. It says, declare his, his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is, is great, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Fear, uh, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Consider this, that God only, only God is God. There is no other God beside him. Every other God that man worships is an idol. And the Bible goes on to say, Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. And then in verses 7 and 8, notice what the word of God says. I want you to circle two words for me today. The first is found in verse number 7, and it's the word give. The Bible says, Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord the glory, uh, I'm sorry, glory and strength. Circle that, se that, that second word in verse 7. Give. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. And then verse 8, notice in ver the opening word, the first word, give. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. What are we giving to God today? I want to encourage you to consider the greatness of God and that God is worthy today, that God alone is worthy. He's worthy for us to live our lives for. God is worthy uh, to receive all glory, for there is no other God beside him. And the Bible says that we're to give unto the Lord the glory due his name. So as we consider God today, as we consider the Lord, our Savior today, what can we give him? We consider all that he has given us. Yeah, he laid down his life he, uh, for our sins. The Bible tells us that he took his, his life up again and that he rose from the grave and is alive forevermore. But what are we giving the Lord because of how great he is and what he's done for us? We're to give the Lord the glory due unto his name. And I want to encourage you today to give your life, to live your life, make a conscious effort today, this week, to live your life for the glory of God. And may the Lord use it, uh, use your life in a special way. We're reminded of what Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. Whether we eat or drink or whatsoever we do, do all to the glory of God. We are to live our lives solely for His glory. The Bible says for His pleasure. We are and were created. And there's no greater decision you can make today after trusting Christ in your Savior than to live your life for Him. And so may God help us live our lives for His glory today, for He's worthy. Father, we thank You for your time, for our time in Your Word today. And Lord, our prayer is that You'd help us live our lives for Your glory uh, Lord, you are you and you alone are worthy. So, Father, may we always recognize how great thou art. And, Lord, may the lives we live fulfill their purpose to glorify and honor Christ and bring lost men to Jesus. But, Father, we love you. We pray for a, split, uh, a blessed rest of our day. And, Lord, that you just anoint this week with your, with, uh, your blessings. And, uh, Lord, that uh, you'd answer many prayers, that you'd help us see more people saved this week all for your glory. And so, Father, we love you, and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being here today. As always, it's a great pleasure to have you. And to go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to these posts. 
And uh, may God use you uh, to help get the word of God out. But may the Lord bless you. Have a great rest of your day. And Lord willing, we will see you all right back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.